finding everything okay? Uh, yeah. Great. Just come grab me if you need anything. Actually, I do need help with something. Yeah, sure. What do you need? Well, I'm new in town, and it's been a long time since I've been out of containment. I mean, the lab. And I was wondering what's hip these days. Yeah, sure, I can help you with that. Hmm, no. Nah. I mean... No. Yeah, you're right. Next. I think this is the one. I mean, I kind of like the other one, but... Good choice. You said you're new in town, right? Yeah. Uh, let me close up and uh, I can give you a tour. Alright. And this is the pier, the pride of our city. It is beautiful. Thanks for showing me around, by the way. No problem. But uh, if you ever need anything, just call me, okay? For sure. D86. Today you will be partaking in a piece of medical history. What's that supposed to mean? Today you will interact with SCP-590. What does it do? He heals you. But I don't need healing. We'll see. Hey! Hey, kid. What are you- 590. Please heal our subject. <sighs> Don't worry. I feel your pain. <laughs> Thomas. I'm gonna bring you home. We're almost there. Almost there. I seriously can't believe the truck just freaking died way back there. I mean, guess that's gonna happen when we were driving for God, who knows how long. Oh my goodness. Ten hours. Ten hours. At the, at the very least, ten hours. Honestly, time. I don't even think I could even te keep time, bro. With how long it's been, I don't even. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> my goodness. Oh. Home sweet home. Oh god, I miss my you. Goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, the table. Sweet couch. The oven, oh. oh my goodness. To think, oh. modern amenities were the one thing we were missing from a freaking prison. I'm so happy to be back, bro. Oh. The water in the sink. I'll just wash my face a little bit here. The leather on the couch. So Dude. relaxing. I could just sit here for hours. God, this sure beats any pr prison cell, man. <sighs> Anything could beat that old prison cell. <laughs> and look, I still got one left. One Guess, I'm to go to Guess I'll have to go to the store to get a couple more. Look at us. Back where it all began. <laughs> Your little thing. living room. This whole adventure started with a, a common mishap, right? Yeah, how... I don't even remember how this all started. Best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Best to think about our newfound freedom. That's true, yeah. I mean, look at this. We've got TV. The wonder of television. We can access clean running water. A freaking stove. I can have something other than cooked slop for dinner. Oh my goodness! All this is and you can so have, good. And you can have something other than that pocket sandwich you've been keeping in there. 
Th this sandwich has kept me held over for so long. Put some respect on this sandwich right here. That's a pretty great sandwich. No, let me, let me tell you something about that sandwich. That has been sitting in your pockets for days. True, but it's a really uh, it's no, a No, that is a, a damn moldy, good sandwich. That is a moldy as sandwich. Okay, I'll I'll throw it away. I'll throw it away. It's fine. I'll just I'll put it in the cabinet. We don't have a trash can. I'll put it in the cabinet. Why are you God, you don't have a trash can. What was I supposed to do with it? You don't just stick it in a cabinet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But it is nice to finally enjoy something other than a fucking prison cell. There was nothing but white. White everywhere. Ray. Metal. It's... Everything other than color. Look at yeah. this. Yeah, it's actually good this to see some color around sweet here. Color. Hardwood floors have never felt so good. Don't have harsh fluorescent light everywhere. Some yes. Nice homey lighting. No freaking, uh, what is it? Heavy containment units. No oh. monsters or professors or doctors or <laughs> anyone poking or prodding. Uh, easy for you to say. You weren't being poked and prodded. Or not to mention our own beds to sleep in. Our own clothes Whoa. to change into. Huh. Now that you mention it, I have been wanting to sleep in my own bed for a long time. To to be able to sit, you know, really relax, to have a good night's sleep for once. Yeah, man. Rather, rather than listening to the constant, incessant wailing of the guy next to me. <laughs> God, I could hear him through the walls. The walls. I will never get the sounds that I got heard out of heavy containment out of my head. Oh my god, that was, that was a rough two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. We were only there two weeks? It felt like no, months. No, no. I was in heavy containment for two weeks. We were in there for uh, a year, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. Anyway, you, I go, guess, you go up to bed, guess, man. I guess time flows differently, I guess. All right, you go to bed, man. Oh. <sighs> well, I could really go for a shower right now. I haven't showered in so long. All this muck and dirt on me. <sighs> yeah, I just got to probably shave all that stubble off, too. Yeah. <sighs> Let's just, yeah, just get under the... Get under the faucet a little bit. Oh, that feels so nice. Warm water. What's, what's that? Is, is that glass? Hold on. Hayden? Hayden, are you okay? <coughs> Hayden! Hayden, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Oh my god! Oh my god, Hayden. Hayden, what's going on? What happened? Oh, I feel like hit by a truck. Please, is that a Hayden, that's a, that's a bullet hole. Hayden, where'd, where'd that come from? Who shot you? Uh, heck if I know. Don't worry, man. You're, you're going to be okay. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. I just got to keep pressure on the wound. Just got to keep pressure on it. Okay. It's kind of hazy in here. Hey, you're going to be okay. It, is it cold to you? No, no, it's uh, you're gonna be okay. Don't feel, worry about it. You're gonna be okay. I feel cold. I feel cold. I'll, I'll get you. A, I can get you a blanket or something. There's gotta be a blanket around here somewhere. Something. Oh. Up that. How's there not a gosh darn blanket in this house? Dylan. You know, I imagine death so much. It feels like a memory. What? Is this how it gets me? On the floor, five feet ahead of me. Are you seriously quoting Hamilton right now? It's my death scene. I can say what I want. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You can. Yeah, you. But you're not gonna die. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. You're not. You're. You're not gonna die. You're gonna be okay. Look at me. You're gonna be okay. You know. It always. 
death's just inevitable for us, right? We're Don't say that. Don't say that. It's gonna be okay. Who's gonna die one day or another? It's like they say. All roads lead back to Rome. No. <laughs> All right. Mama. I'm coming home. No. Hayden. Hayden. Hayden, please. Wake up. No, 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 no. No, this can't be. No, no, no. My best friend. Who did this? Who could have possibly done this? Why? Why you? Makes no sense. How touching. Even an anomaly can feel lost. <laughs> I should be taking notes. You. You did this. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You killed my best friend. A necessary sacrifice. A sacrifice? For what? Your foundation? No. For Thomas. Who? SCP-590. My brother. The Foundation has had him for as long as I could remember. Conducting... tests. But it's more like torture. If you come with me, I can end his suffering. Then I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Just come quietly. No. I'm sorry for this. I'm... sorry. This is for Hayden. Go to hell, Bright. I'm sorry, Hayden. I never wanted this to happen. It's all my fault. If only I'd been there. If only I could have done something, but I couldn't. But I won't let your death be in vain. No, I am going to make them pay. I am going back, and I am going to kill every scientist and every guard. And when I'm done, there will be nothing left. I'm going to bring down this foundation if it's the last thing I do. I love you, bro. I'll see you around.